just figuring all this out. So what I've, I don't like that. I don't like what just happened here. Okay. Let's undo, Let's select hierarchy. And it's creating, okay. Maybe I didn't finish this. Hook up joint, joint control joint. Maybe I didn't finish it. I thought that I had though. Joints, parent control joint, world true, right? If it, if object exists, else. All right, I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna take a break for now and be back to you soon. If I just do this first. Can we add a range? All oh, right, because there isn't one. And I don't understand. Try this, because I know. Like, why did that work? Well, now it's not working. Now it's doing the same thing as before. So I'll have to look into what's going on with my script here. So I know what I did. Um, because I wrote this to be very specific to... Uh, my own naming structure. And so maybe that's something I need to figure out how to work into that. But I'm going to search and replace, uh, search for string. And uh, like I said before, I remember these are all my bind joints. And that's what it's looking for. It's looking for that name bind joint. So if I run this now, uh, and it, uh, yeah, there we go. So it changes the bind joints to rig joints, and these rig joints then control these bind joints. So I can turn off that skeleton, and this skeleton is not rigged, or not skin, but it's controlling the bind skeleton, which is the skeleton, you need that full FK skeleton for gaming, and so that's why I have that set up. So now with this rig skeleton, it doesn't have to be a full FK I can change the orders and stuff, and but each of these bones will then drive uh, the corresponding bone. And when I want to, um, and I have my script here to do, so if I go shoulder, wrist, uh, and I run my FKIK, so here is my IK arm uh, controllers. Here are my FK arm controllers, and currently FK is set uh, is set at the default. So, do 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 do. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing I like to do, and I'll probably go over this, and is create like the main FK IK switch node separately that I can then have it in one place and then connect. Uh, Excuse me, other things too. And now, since this is IK, right now the IK arm works on here. All right, so I figured out what I was doing wrong. Um, so, yeah, when I'm ready to duplicate that, I want to uh, make sure I have everything named correctly. Not just left and right, but bind joint. Uh, so, again, this is how I like to do it. So, these are the rig joints, and so rig and then what it is in the Maya structure joint. Uh, probably write something that will change these point constraint names too, make them a little easier to read, but IK rotate plane handle. So it knows uh, you can differentiate between the rotate plane and single uh, chain solver ones um, just by you know you don't have to look and see well what kind is this like if you're looking through here you're like oh it's a rotate plane solver so it's going to have a pole vector i guess you can see that here too but you know rather than having to like look all over the place i like having that uh, and doing that so and at, at some point i'll go back over kind of my uh, uh, scripts for these uh, and maybe write them out from scratch and see if i can make them actually a little bit more efficient. I think you can see here that I have, you know, a bunch of stuff. I haven't jumped into classes 
Uh, yeah. But, you know, here's my IK and FK arm script, and it's, I think, fairly, you know, it's basically step by step and not um, very elegant, maybe, uh, as far as it could probably be more Pythonic, as they say. But you know what? For what I have right now, it works. Uh, the other thing you might notice is that um, my controllers don't have any controllers. Um, and what I have is a way that I want to, uh, the controls are there, uh, the transform group is there, the shape is not there. Uh, so if I go here and I look at this arm control, uh, be added by itself, normally you would also see the shape node. But that allowed me later to create the shapes. The controls are there and they're going to be oriented the way that I want them. And so then I can just create the shape nodes and um, uh, parent the shape uh, that I create up under the transform node and they should snap into place. And I can then make sure they're all sized correctly and shaped correctly to what I'm making if I had someone with a different arm structure like i would want to make giant arm circles or squares if they didn't fit or make sense for this so it allows for that automation but at the same time some level of, of customizing um and keeping my hand kind of in the in the pudding as it were i don't know if that's not a saying but i made it up keeping my hands in the pudding baby all right 